While it may look like just a regular bike ride for Naperville residents Ellie Martin and her mom Susie, they're actually pedaling with a purpose. Martin was born with an impaired cerebellum, the part of the brain that controls muscle coordination and balance. But it wasn't until just two years ago that she had an official cause, an incredibly rare disease called cerebellar ataxia. Because of the genetic testing, we found that it was due to a um, genetic mutation. And there are about 13 other people that we know of in the world that have this rare type of cerebellar ataxia. Ataxia is a neurological disease that affects your balance, coordination, speech, vision, and fine motor skills. So um, sometimes I will use a walking stick if I don't drive. And my speech is affected too because I don't speak faster than others. Still, that's not getting in the way of Martin biking 200 miles during the month of June while spreading awareness of Atexia with the 2023 Summer Match Challenge. We always wanted to do a bike fundraiser in the summer. I was scrolling through my social media and I found a post on the National Atexia Foundation page that said um, the entire month of June, every dollar fundraise will be doubled. So that was the perfect time to do the bike fundraiser. She has been riding on an adaptive bike since the age of five, along with riding a tandem with her mom. We've always loved bike riding. It was one thing we could do together, but it was just something we spent our summers doing together, and it was also good therapy for her. These are my, like, little straps so my feet don't slide out. But now that she can strap into her own cat trike, a bicycle made for people with balance challenges, she has a newfound sense of freedom. With my bike, it doesn't affect me at all because it has three wheels instead of two, so I'm not trying to balance as much, and I'm lower to the ground, so it makes it easier for me to ride, and it, so it's more stable and not as wobbly. With about two weeks left in the month, she has 60 miles left and is about halfway to her $2,000 fundraising goal. Money raised will go towards research in hopes of one day fighting treatment for ataxia. I am so proud of her. She, she is motivating to so many people for all that she has accomplished. I just try to think positively about things and stuff and stuff that I can do instead of I can't do. For Naperville News 17, I'm Patrick Cotto.